president of Baby Kai, Jasmine Kincaid, to my lovely sisters of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, and to our honored guests, good afternoon. Good afternoon. We send warm greetings to each of you. I am Kimberly Jones, and I am the president of Gamma Alpha Omega Sorority Incorporated. Each Founders Day holds a significance, but this one is extra special because we are alive. We are back in person after surviving a pandemic. Praise be to God for his grace and mercy and love and kindness. We are still standing. We pause at this time to honor our founders and our history, reflect on the ideals and values of our founders, uh, may our remarkable history inspire us as we are soaring to greater heights of service and sisterhood. We celebrate our present and look forward to the future as we continue to serve the Jackson, Tennessee community. We are honored and excited to welcome you to our Joint Founders Day celebration. Thank you for your presence. We hope you enjoy the program. Now next we will have greetings from Ms. Jasmine Kincaid, followed by a meditation from Ms. Tisa Day. Good morning, my name is Jasmine Kincaid. I am the president of Beta Chi Inland College. Greetings to President Kimberly Jones and my sisters of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and honor guests, good afternoon. To each of you, we extend our sincere greetings. Every family today has a great meaning, but this one is even more profound because we have survived a pandemic and are back in person to fellowship with one another. God deserves praise for his mercy, grace, and unfailing love. We are still standing. We take a moment out to remember and celebrate our history, our founders, and 115 years of service, sisterhood, and scholarship. We, are, we also reaffirm our commitment to the principles and values of our founders as we soar to greater heights of our service and sisterhood. May our extraordinary past serve as an inspiration. We are delighted to have you to join us for our Founders Day celebration. I appreciate you all for being here. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the program. Next, we will have the meditation from Ms. Tisha Day. Good afternoon. I am elated that we are here together as we celebrate Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated Founders Day, 115 years of service. We stand on the shoulders of great women who share not only a bond of sisterhood, but servanthood. As we soar in service, the word soar means to rise above. Above the usual level, that means beyond mediocrity and the status quo. And service means to help and to do the work. Matthew 20, 26 says, Yet it shall not be so among you, but whoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. In order to go high, you have to be willing to help the least of them. That's how you soar. I read an article that stated, serving is good for your soul. Studies have shown that serving and giving of your time and talents is so good for the mind and the body that it eases symptoms of stress and depression, tapping into our gifts and passions, building self-confidence, energy, and strength. Serving others can also be the best distractions from our own situations. So serve with a smile. Serve with the solution to the problem. Serve until your soul is happy. Don't just fly by, but soar in service. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you as we celebrate 115 years of service. We thank you for our community, 
our scholars, everyone here today. Help us to know that, help them to know that we are Christians by the love that we show. Let love illuminate. Bless the service, let it be decent and in order and in your will. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Amen, amen. This day, thank you for that beautiful inspirational meditation and prayer. You gave us many reasons to serve and with a smile. Next, we will have uh, the, the honor of hearing Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority's rich history, starting with our historian, Ms. Mia Moore, followed by service through the years by our first vice president, Mrs. Monique Merriweather. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I have the honor of reading our history today. In 1908, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority became America's first Greek letter organization, established by black college women. Her roots date back, her roots date back to Howard University in Washington, DC, where the idea for formation was conceived by Ethel Hedgeman Lyle of St. Louis, Missouri. She viewed the sorority as an instrument for enriching the social and intellectual aspects of college life by providing mental stimulation through interaction with friends and associates. Through the years, however, Alpha Kappa Alpha's function has become more complex. After her incorporation as a perpetual body in 1913, Alpha Kappa Alpha gradually branched out and became the channel through which selected college-trained women improved the socioeconomic conditions in their city, their state, the nation, and the world. It is critical to have an association that cuts across racial, international, physical, and social barriers to help individuals and communities develop and maintain constructive relationships, relationships with others. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority is that vital organization. Alpha Kappa Alpha is a sisterhood composed of women who have consciously chosen this affiliation as a means of self-fulfillment through volunteer service, Alpha Kappa Alpha cultivates and encourages high scholastic and ethical standards, promotes unity and friendship among college women, alleviates problems concerning girls and women, maintains a progressive interest in college life, and is supreme in service to all mankind. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated is comprised of more than 355,000 initiated members in graduate and undergraduate chapters in 12 countries, including the United States, the Bahamas, Bermuda, Canada, Dubai, Germany, Japan, Liberia, Nigeria, South Korea, South Africa, and the United and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Led by international president and CEO, Danette Anthony Reed of Dallas, Texas, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority often is hailed as America's premier Greek letter organization for African American women. Good afternoon. Thank you all so much for sharing in Alpha Kappa Alpha's 115th Founders Day celebration. To Pastor William Watson, thank you so much for opening the doors of your church and allowing us to fellowship here today. We are elated to see all of you. For 115 years, service and sisterhood have been the fabric of our organization. 
and serves as the catalyst for those, and serves as a catalyst for those that we serve. Here is just a brief overview of some of the service projects that have been implemented over the years. In 1951, Fashionetta was introduced using guest models from Nashville, Memphis, St. Louis, Chicago, and local models including Gamma Alpha Omega members, their husbands, as we call honeydews, and their children. This activity provided opportunities for demonstrating talent in fashion, as well as clean and wholesome competition. In 1964, the chapter pre presented the first Cinderella Cotillion. This project was designed to culturally enrich the lives of girls between the ages of 12 through 15. Efforts were made to help girls develop and appreciate aesthetic values. During the 1970s, Gamma Alpha Omega engaged in many activities. On December 26, 1973, a life membership with the NAACP was established. On December 2, 1978, the first Miss Vogue, Mr. Esquire pageant was sponsored by the chapter. The pageant served as a culmination of a series of activities designed to broaden the cultural and social awareness of each participant. The first pageant had a total of 37 participants, 18 young ladies and 19 young men. Proceeds from the pageant helped provide scholarship for college-bound students. In February of 1995, the Most Precious Pearl Award was started by the chapter. This award is given to, given to a sorority member for her outstanding service to the community and the sorority. This award is the highest award bestowed upon a member within the Gamma Alpha Omega chapter. On June 19, 1995, the first Hall of Fame program was held at Best Western Old Hickory Inn. Recognition was given to honor deserving individuals for their contributions in four areas, community service, education, fine arts, and political action. Inductees were given awards to honor them for the service in their respective areas. Through its history, Gamma Alpha Omega has generously given of its resources to the community, from providing milk to elementary school children, to towels, washcloths, and other personal hygiene items at local convalescent homes. The chapter continues to address our national targets, which now include empower our families, build our economic wealth, enhance our environment, advocate for social justice, and uplift our local community. We are proud to announce that Alpha Kappa Alpha will be the first Black-owned, woman-led, sorority-based, digital banking financial institution in the history of the United States. So, as you can see, we have been busy for 115 years. We look forward to continue to being of service to all mankind for the next 115 years. God bless you all. That's exciting. Thank you ladies for taking us back through the years. We will now move to the presentation segment of our program our Founder Day, Founders Day Chairman, Ms. LaDonna Braswell, has a special presentation, followed by Mrs. Karen Phelps with the Community Contributions. We will then celebrate our Alpha Scholars, led by Mrs. Diane Avery. At the conclusion of these presentations, we will be blessed by a musical selection from the Gamma Alpha Omega Ensemble. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. I didn't want to say good morning. It is my pleasure to bring to you this special presentation. 
Now, as we discussed just a few minutes ago, the sisters of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated celebrates 115 years. But it brings me great joy to say that this church, Historic First Baptist, celebrates 154 years of service in the community. Yes, ma'am, it's something that we celebrate. So on this particular day, we, the ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, would like to present the Godman of this house with a monetary donation to say thank you. Thank you for opening your doors to us and allowing us to have this program here to celebrate not just the establishment of our sisterhood, but to honor the scholars that are serving in Jackson Madison County schools and surrounding areas. So we that brings great joy. So we would like to tell you thank you, Pastor William Watson, and we would love for you to come and accept this token of thanks. Thank you. 